Welcome, seekers of knowledge. Today, we're delving into the realm of citizenship law, in the context of the JKSSB exam. This is the JKSSB exam special YouTube channel. If you find this content valuable, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your network, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more enlightening videos. Without further ado, let's journey into the world of citizenship law with our first multiple choice question. Question 1. The Citizenship Act was enacted in which year? Is it A. 1947, B. 1950, C. 1960, or D. 1970? The answer is B. 1950. Moving on to question 2. Who has the power to regulate the right of citizenship by birth? Is it A. The Parliament, B. The President, C. The Supreme Court, or D. The Prime Minister? The correct answer is A. The Parliament. Question 3. Which amendment of the Constitution of India deals with citizenship? Is it A. The Sixth Amendment, B. The 14th Amendment, C. The 26th Amendment, or D. The 42nd Amendment? The answer is B. The 14th Amendment. We're at question 4 now. What is the minimum residency period in India for someone to apply for citizenship by naturalization? Is it A. 5 years, B. 7 years, C. 10 years, or D. 12 years? The answer is C. 10 years. On to question 5. Is it possible to lose Indian citizenship? A. Yes by renunciation B. Yes by termination C. Yes by deprivation or D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. Halfway through with question 6. Which article of the Indian Constitution deals with citizenship? A. Article 5, B. Article 6, C. Article 7, or D. Article 8? The answer is A. Article 5. Question 7. Which country's citizens are ineligible for Indian citizenship by registration? A. Pakistan, B. Bangladesh, C. Afghanistan, or D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. Question 8. What is the maximum period for which an overseas citizen of India card is valid? A. Lifelong B. 20 years, C. 50 years, or D. 60 years. The answer is A. Lifelong. Question 9. Who confers citizenship by naturalization? A. The President, B. The Prime Minister, C. The Parliament, or D. The Ministry of Home Affairs? The correct answer is D. The Ministry of Home Affairs. Question 10. Can a foreigner fighting against the state be granted Indian citizenship? A. Yes B. No C. Only if they surrender, or D. Only if they are recommended by the President. The answer is B. No. And finally, question 11. Can citizenship be granted to a person not of full age? A. Yes B. No C. Only with parental consent or D. Only if they are an orphan. The answer is C. Only with parental consent. And there you have it. A quick but insightful dive into the Citizenship Act. Remember, the Act was enacted in 1950 by the Parliament, which has the power to regulate the right of citizenship. The 14th Amendment of the Constitution deals with citizenship, and a person must reside in India for a minimum of 10 years to apply for citizenship by naturalization. Indian citizenship can be lost by renunciation, termination, and deprivation. Article 5 of the Constitution deals with citizenship. Citizens of Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan are ineligible for Indian citizenship by registration. An overseas citizen of India card is lifelong, and the Ministry of Home Affairs confers citizenship by naturalization. A foreigner fighting against the state cannot be granted Indian citizenship, and a person not of full age can only be granted citizenship with parental consent. Thank you for joining us today. Remember to like this video, share it with your fellow knowledge seekers, and subscribe to the JKSSB exam special YouTube channel for more enlightening content. Stay curious, keep learning, and we'll see you in the next video.